So I'm back here with another video on the Fortric WLIR software. This is version 1.0.4.68. I recommend you go into help about and you look at that latest version. Make sure you're on the latest version. Um, this has several updates which I'm gonna show you here. Let's start out with the uh, alarm sound. Alarm sound that has this empty box here. And what this box actually allows you to do is to actually enter your own text. So whenever someone has a high temperature reading, what do you wanna say to that person? So let's go ahead and just start out by showing you what it looks like currently, what it currently says. And let me hit enter here. Caution, abnormal. So notice it says caution, abnormal. That's great, but I wanna say something different. I wanna say high temperature, high temperature C guard. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and close this. Go back in here. High temperature C guard. So very nice right off the bat. Notice how it not only gives me the new uh, text I input here. It also now enables an alarm prompt. This is the second feature that this now uh, does very well here. Now, if I don't wanna have that a little pop-up that you saw there, I can remove that and just have it say, say this. So let's go ahead and test that. High temperature, C guard. So I love that feature. Gives people a sense of direction on what to do when they fail the, the reading here, the scanning. Let's go ahead and actually just say high temperature. Let's keep it simple. Um, another big update, as you may have seen, I am on the privacy mode. In this new privacy mode, nothing's actually being captured or displayed throughout here. So if I was to disable the privacy mode, you will notice that we have two cameras. If I go back in here, high temperature. Now it starts to actually capture these screenshots here. Uh, snapshots on the bottom, alarms on the right. However, if I go into privacy mode, you can actually get rid of that entirely here. High temperature. So I'm gonna High temperature. make this different. Actually, High temperature. Probably fourth reading here. High temperature. And let me undo that one here. And notice nothing was actually stored during the entire time I had the privacy mode enabled. So this is much, much better now. Um, so again, vocal alarms, alarm prompt, you can enable that. You can change your own text when someone fails. What do you want them to do next? Display privacy mode. You can also choose if you are on privacy mode, unchecking the save snapshot options. So don't save any alerts, don't save any images privacy mode, keep it unchecked. I would recommend if you have some concerns with privacy, you uncheck temperature data. And what this will look like here High is... High temperature. High temperature. And I do have the temperature set a little bit lower than I should, so let's take that out. But you will notice now that I don't have a temperature being read on me. However, if I was to fail, it will give you that reading there. And by that reading, I mean the alarm itself. So let's go back and do that. High temperature. High temperature. So notice it gave that reading there. Um, again, you can also choose for maximum privacy mode. Disable the alarm prompt. And now we can go back here. High temperature. High temperature. So as you notice, there is no temperature being shown. There is nothing being captured. I don't have any snapshots enabled. I've also disabled the alarm prompt. So again, really, really nice upgrades to this version. The last part here is the enable power saving mode. So this is a new feature. So now you can enable or disable it. A couple of reasons why you may want to enable it is to extend the life of the product. Like most electronics, if it's in power saving mode, it has a little bit uh, more life to it. If you want to be eco-friendly, this is how you can do that as well. Again, that's an option for you to enable or disable here. Let's go ahead and just close this one more time. 
let me set the temperature here. This is my alarm threshold back to 100.4. And let's do one more reading here. So again, I'm green, no issues. Let me go ahead and set the temperature data. Now you can kind of see the temperature there as well. It's been staying consistent throughout all of these scans. Now I want to actually enable um, under units, one more thing here, you can do font and you can make this a little bit larger. So I want to be able to see, for example, my temperature. Then you can see it there. Um, the last thing I want to show you is the search here. So again, you can choose to search for any scans that may have occurred recently. Notice how there's a time specifically here. So if I was to do something a little bit earlier, you're going to notice all the fail alarms we were testing previously as well. And of course, you can export this and you'll have that Excel sheet file ready to view and do what you need with the data. Um, that's pretty much it on this feature here on this new upgrade. Uh, for those that you don't that don't know, I would recommend you can also go into full screen mode if you like. That is an option. Basically makes this thermal image full screen. Uh, and one more thing I've noticed that Fultrick has done is you can now collapse it. So if you want to minimize it, you can also expand it or you know bring it back down to normal size window. That is something they added here. So this is really one of the best versions of the Fultrick software, as it should be. It is the latest. You can download this right from T Equipment, our quick start guide on the Fultrick unit. And if you have any questions, again, please feel free to reach out to us.